So you read the title right. I try Linux and it didn't go so well. So welcome to the channel. If this is your first time joining me, uh, thank you. Uh, what we talk about here, mostly Chromebooks, Chrome OS, and lately Android. But I have talked about Linux. Now my introduction into Linux uh, came from Chromebooks. Chrome OS has a kind of built-in Linux VM container of that house is Debian. So my first introduction into anything Linux, anything open source was through that terminal. And I displayed that on the channel. That's how I used my um, open source video editors uh, is through the Linux version on Chrome OS. But depending on when this video comes out, Google has decided to drop its Steam updates for Chrome OS. So that was kind of a big deal for me as I have purchased several Steam games. And now my only option for playing Steam games is GFN as my actual Windows PCs is no longer or ever really was big on gaming at all. Um, and I hopefully so what I hope to do eventually is to get on SteamOS, but I'm going to wait until you know, Valve actually gives a stable uh, update for desktop PCs. And I know that is technically possible, but I've seen a lot of people who are smarter than me struggle with it. And so I know what I'm capable of, what I'm not capable of. And rather than blowing a lot of money because I want a good gaming PC, um, I've still haven't quite decided am I going to go with SteamOS. There is other OSs that could be good to gaming, but for now, I just wanted to try just an OS. You know, I've been warming up to the idea for a few years now, and I figured, you know what, now's the time to let's just rip the bayonet off and uh, let's try Linux. What you're going to see now is my process from beginning to end of how my beautiful failure went. So yeah this pc has seen better days uh or we even try to get started on booting this thing up i need to get this thing at least looking presentable okay so these like before i'm going to use a little can air here and uh and be right back and move on. Green, go clean. I had this for a while. I've never actually done it. I've done it. Oh, cool. So, uh, So yeah, so I'd actually read the directions and did that improperly. So I'm only supposed to do it for two to three second bursts. So yeah, we'll get it. Hopefully I didn't damage the circuitry too much. It's actually not as dirty as I thought it was going to be. It was dirt, but... I spent the lowers. And hopefully this works. And I'm booting up in literally years. Not working. Okay. We finally got in. I had to go complete old school. So for some reason it's not want to connect to this hub. I guess it just doesn't have the connectors for it. And oh boy, I haven't seen this stuff in a while. 
Well, this is interesting. For some reason, it's trying to boot up Steam. Here we are, real computer here. Well, it's been a little under 30 minutes with Windows, and I remember why I left it. Okay. So, oh, look, more stuff's popping up for only the update before. And it just stays around very sluggish, slow. Don't get me wrong, it's not complete fair comparison since i shut up since this is a newer pc i'm sure i picked up a new surface or something uh, anything made in the last year or so it would operate much better performance much better than this but that's not the reason i'm making this video the reason is because i've gotten finally got this in the mail yeah i'm sorry but it's just a jump drive which on this jump drive it is supposed to be Linux on this drive. Got from eBay. So supposedly I should be able to boot into any number of distros and I have no clue how to use it. Complete noob. And so you're gonna see me probably make some mistakes. I'm gonna just plug this in, see you know, what can I do with it? And hopefully I can say goodbye to this other system. I was gonna look through files, maybe I'll look through it just a little bit, see if there's anything I want, but Everything on this hard drive is years old. If I needed it, I wouldn't have gotten it by now. So let's uh, plug this in. All right, so finally got it to boot to. I'm going to assume that's it right there. Let's see what it goes to. Oh, and uh, there we go. And now the moment of truth here. It's supposed to be like 20 something distros on here i'm tempted just to go with ubuntu or linux mint because uh this will be my first distro i know enough not to go with if i don't if i don't recognize it i'm not going with it i know not to go with arch i'm tempted to go with debian since that is the one that's on chromebooks but told that these are distros, so the ones that I recognize here probably gonna be Ubuntu. Be right back with my decision. And here we go. I have no idea how long this is gonna take. I assume screen is gonna be turned off and on. I'm not even sure is this. Oh. Was fast. I wonder is it boot is it running off the USB? There's no way did that delete all the data already. So immediately, that's quite responsive, like really quick. Like the speed of that is night and day. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Let me see. Met here. All right. Probably should play around before, but you know what? Pull the band aid. All right, let's see. Let's see. Do you want English? Yes. I was tempted to go with Ubuntu. Even my reasoning is really going to be between Ubuntu and Mint. Uh, but Mint is better for older hardware. That's, that's my primary reason. Go right ahead. 
Otherwise, I would have went around Ubuntu because I heard that it's more modern. And this is better if you're coming from Windows, which, yeah, this is taken from a Windows computer. But I've been on Windows for over two years now. In fact, I went from Windows to briefly on Mac to now Chrome OS. So I'm pretty happy with my Chrome OS experience. But let me just expand my options here again. Yeah. Probably gonna pause the video, come back for it, because I have no clue how long this is going to take. Yeah, go ahead. All right, I'm gonna uh, enter some personal information here. And so after a long update, the installation didn't work at first. I had to restart and then do it again. I said, please install the installation medium, then press enter. So I assume that means that I can take this out because me using Linux before was testing it. And now it is already installed. I, I assume that I can install other distros with this. Like so far. All right, so I'm not exactly sure. It just rebooted back to Windows. But it's kind of what I said I wanted. All right, this time, I think I should have just pulled a Band-Aid and got rid of Windows entirely. But I wanted to have my cake and eat it too, and I'm having a hard time getting back into Mint. So trying to get back into the boot. Looks like I failed somehow. Dreaded Windows logo. Okay, let's try this again. And back into the menu here. Okay, here we go again. This time. Alright, so for some reason. Linus Mint, Linus Mint was working good until it wasn't, and for some reason I just couldn't open up the internet browser. I would try downloading the internet browser through the terminal, and maybe if I kept going with it, I would have eventually found success. But after a few restarts and still can't do anything, and the installation, where well, I just wanted to not test it and just straight just put it on my computer and the installation crashed for some reason and i said you know what let me just give ubuntu a start maybe i could go back to mid or just want something to work right now and let's see how this works so an update but not can't install all the updates so since not all updates can be installed run a partial upgrade to install as many updates as possible never heard of that and then i don't know a bunch of little Problem, bunch of little things that could have gone wrong. All right. Okay. Let me just take care of this. So this is not the way I wanted to end the video. Honestly, I thought about even if I should even upload this or not. But I believe this is kind of realistic. Uh, I am a noob, even though I have some experience. I knew this was going to be some trial and error. I just kind of was hoping that uh, this could get really close to a kind of a plug and play experience just for the common user, even though the common user is not going to go through most of this. Well, some. But. Just want you to know, even though I ended this video without having a Linux this role, the small amount of time that I did have Linux working, I got the hype. I got how, obviously, I use Chrome OS, so I know the benefits of having a really light operating system. Uh, but having all those uh, applications that's ready, just at your fingertips, all ready to go, was very eye-opening. It felt full, felt, you know, felt like, you know, the 
real computer here. So I'm going to try again. Don't know when, don't know if I'm going to just try to make my own drive or just get another one. I'm not sure yet, but this isn't the end of my Linux journey, I assure you. But put down in, the, you know, of course, I didn't go to the Linux community because I just wanted to give the experience of, you know, let me just see what I could do on my own. So that was a failure. Uh, but put down in the comments, uh, what do you think I should do? Uh, what Linux distro? I said, from my research, it was either going to be Mint or Ubuntu. What I saw with Ubuntu felt like I would gravitate to that more, but I don't know. So that's going to end it for this video. If you like content like this, please consider leaving a comment and subscribing to the video. I would appreciate it. And I'll just see you next time.